This is the plaintiff, Alan Michelazza. He says he was driving down the road when a cop car, with sirens blaring, came into an intersection. When he stopped to let them go by, the defendant rear-ended him. The defendant agreed to pay for his damages at the scene, but is now ignoring his calls. He doesn't understand why the defendant's being such a louse. He's been more than patient and is suing for the $250 he's owed. This is the defendant, Dane. He says there was a water main break in the street and it was totally flooded. And when the plaintiff stopped abruptly without warning, he skidded into him. He was going three miles an hour. He never would have skidded if the streets weren't flooded. And besides, there wasn't even any damage. Besides, the cops didn't write up a report because neither of their cars had anything wrong with them. The plaintiff should file a claim against this city because the street was a flood zone and it was hazardous. He's accused of a bumper love tap. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket. The plaintiff was driving, heard sirens, stopped. The defendant rear-ended him. The defendant said, uh-uh. Guy stopped abruptly. It's the case of I tap that. I can tap in Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Alan Michalatza, you are Hello. suing Dane. Uh, for $250 that the two of you agreed he would pay you after he hit you from behind. Mm -hmm. What happened? So I was uh, going home from work. I was driving home and I was approaching an intersection and I had the green light and the police officer had his car and he had his lights flashing. And so he was what? In the in intersection? He's in front of me trying to cut. In front of you? Yeah. Okay, good. Go on. So I come to a stop because that's the right thing to do. Are his lights are on? Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Was yeah. the siren on? Uh-huh. Okay. So f about five to ten seconds later, um, I just get hit from, the, uh, from behind. The same police officer stops the pulse uh, to see that everything is okay with us. And uh, he, what he told, what the police officer told me himself is that he saw my car stopped and then it got launched forward. Like, it got hit. Okay. Did the police officer write a report? The police officer said it was optional to write a report. Um, just because it's just whether how we want to settle it. So we just made an agreement. Well, we got out of the cars, so we inspected the damage, and I saw that my car had uh, the bumpers cracked, the paint was chipped, and my muffler was uh, broken. It was swaying left and right. Okay, what happened? Well, that's incorrect. <coughs> what actually happened was uh, Mr. Allen was driving in front of me, and the police car was coming perpendicular. Okay. to him with the lights. They, the lights had just turned on, and there was no siren. So they slowed down almost to a stop, and Alan slowed down. So they were letting Alan go forward, but Alan hesitated, and the police officers, they had already stopped. So when he hesitated, I had to press on my brakes. Wait, wait, I don't understand. If you saw everything you just said, why do you hit him? If you see everything you just said, you shouldn't I, be hitting him because your was, car shouldn't be in motion. I was moving approximately three miles per hour. Well, even more reason that you could stop. If his car stopped, exactly. why wouldn't you have time to stop before hitting him? Because I pressed the brakes and the water main that was broken, my vehicle, I was driving a Mercedes and the ABS kicked in and the vehicle just slid and just tapped him. Oh, so I love when, tap. Yeah, it was a little love tap. That's tap exactly like that. what he called it in the answer to the it complaint. It was a little love, love tap. tap. Not I don't even know what you think love is, my friend. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right now, you hit me with a car, it's not love. He, All right, so it's your fault. Nice it's obviously your fault. What, he, is it his he, fault? Uh, How is it his fault? So if the plaintiff stops abruptly because he hears a siren and the defendant hits him, is the defendant responsible for the accident? Yes, most, most definitely. Even if it's an abrupt stop, abrupt stop. Uh, yes, there was sirens, so yeah, it is fault. Um, yes, and you're supposed to have a length, you know. There that, you go. Yeah. Ding! Going inside the courtroom. It, it's, it's the city's fault, it's Allen's fault, and it's oh, the wait, police wait, officer's fault. Oh, wait, wait, I want to know how fault. it's Allen's fault. It's Allen's fault because he had to right away. There was no emergency. There was I'm sorry, no are you telepathic? There was, There's a cop I with the, the lights and officer. say, it doesn't matter. I know what you're talking about. They were late for lunch. I know what you mean, but when a police officer has the sirens or the lights on, you by law have to give it passage. Exactly. Why do you think they put it on? All exactly. right, so so what did he do wrong? He should have kept going when they stopped because the lights were flashing. If he had kept going, they'd be giving him a ticket for not stopping for a sirening car. 
how are you going to give him a ticket if they're on their way to a supposedly emer emergency? Oh, so you think he might get away with it? He should have taken the chance. Okay, just stop. All right, so what happens out there? You guys strike a deal. Yeah, so we got out of the car. We saw the damage, and he apologized to me for hitting the car, and he saw the damage. He said it's not that severe, but I told him that it needs to be reworked, the body part, uh, the bumper, and it has to be repainted. So you guys actually, what kind of car was this? It's a BMW 328, uh, 2000. 2007. Okay, and so you guys actually f come up with a figure? I said 250. Did you agree to pay him 250? No, actually, I agreed to pay him 200. Have you? I gave him forty-one dollars. Did he give you forty-one dollars? He gave me thirty-one dollars. Thirty-one dollars, <laughs> and according to you, you agreed to pay what? The uh, the balance due for the, on the, two hundred. You agreed to pay the balance of two, you know, minus the thirty-one dollars. Yes. And have you paid it? No. Why I, haven't you paid it? Be, because after I reflected on the situation and thought about, you know, Alan, he's a very nice guy, boy next door. Boy next but, door, he called you. He looks but, like, exactly, well, hold on, I'm going to read your exact words in the end. Plaintiff is a nice guy. He looks like Tom Cruise in Risky Business. That's what he, but the accident's not my fault. You're dating Tom Cruise. You should be very happy. All right, go ahead. So, you know, I, I, I just Alan, assume that's your date. Is this your date yeah. to the people's court? Okay. okay. Alan, Alan was very cordial throughout the whole process. Okay, and so that, then why did you do him like this? Uh... If I had the money, I would have gave Alan. I would have right, gave now, Alan. Now, Alan, did he agree to 200 or did he agree to 250? 250, and I have a video. How did you know to take a video, Alan? It just seemed like the right way to make a contract. Okay, the right answer is I watch the People's Court, but I will also <laughs> accept that last answer. I will also accept that. Um, so this accident just happened. We stopped for the police officers. Um, a few seconds later, this gentleman right here drove into me. Yeah, like, and, uh, there you, that's you. <laughs> the set price of 250. Oh, look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's have that again. Okay. Hold on. Let's hear that again. Price of 250. Oh, wait. Did you want to hear it again? No, you should let it play because I, I corrected it. The set price of 250 to get it repaired. And yeah. All right. We have a deal? All right. Thank you. Oh, I let it oh. play. I, I, what? I, I could recall that I told him uh, 200, not 250. Do you want to hear yourself saying 250 again? Because I played I, it three times. You know what? Was, no. Uh, unbelievable. I, I Just unbelievable. It was 200. And you didn't pay that either, anyway. 250 minus 31, right? Well, he gave me 31 before the agreement. He said, take whatever I have and I'll give you 250. Is that afterwards. what's on tape, or do, is there no. an agreement for 250 as a settlement? That's not on tape, but that's what we agreed on. Is that accurate, or is no, that inaccurate? No, that's inaccurate. Yeah, you know, I'm, that right. does, that's not normally the way it's done, so that's not how I'm going to do it. I find in your favor in the remaining $219, verdict for the plaintiff. So the plaintiff is going to get his money, $200, uh, well, $31. Away from the 250. Did you hear yourself say 250? Agree to that? Uh, I, I, I heard something. I, I don't know. It was 250. No choir. Everybody here heard that. By the way, you were wearing headphones. Were you driving with headphones on? Um, yes. You were? Yes. The cops say anything to you about that? No. Because that's not good, you know? Well, the headphones, you can hear the system. Anyway, you lost the case, okay? You got to give them the money. You got to cough it up. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately. Right. Unfortunately. Yeah. Guy's a nice guy, but yeah. I think he was incorrect in, in some of the things he stated. No, hey, he had the evidence. Yeah. He, your goose was cooked. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, you thank must you. go. All right. Tom Cruise, the plaintiff, is on his way out of the courtroom now. What did you think of that? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, it, just, it sucks for him, but it's just what had to happen. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. good luck. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. All right. Car fixed? Look good now? No, not yet. But not yet? Yes. But we will be. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Harvey? Doug, look, I mean, the only way a settlement is legally binding is if it's fully executed, and this wasn't, and as a result, the plaintiff gets the reasonable cost of repair.